obviously sleep medicine is a specialty which deals with diagnosing and treating sleep related disorders and there are 84 different types of sleep disorders since most of this occur in a deep sleep we are not aware about it this sleep disorder affects our day to day activity it can lead to fatigue excessive daytime sleepiness lethargy it can impair our memory also our vital parameters are also affected like a sleep disorder can lead to high blood pressure high blood sugar cardiac arrhythmia it can lead to stroke also even weight gain and early aging can be because of poor sleep quality or a sleep disorder the maximum portion of growth hormone secretion occurs in our deepest sleep that is the stage 3 sleep Growth hormone is important for muscle build up and fat breakdown. If someone is suffering from sleep disorder or having poor quality sleep then this growth hormone secretion will be less leading to weight gain and early aging. Now collagen formation also helped by growth hormone. So low growth hormone level also affects collagen formation leading to wrinkles and dark circles around eyes. Yes the good part about the sleep medicine is almost all sleep related disorder can be treated but there are many misconceptions about sleep disorders So the first thing is uh, all of us thinks that sleep is a passive state and its only function is to give rest to body and mind but that is not true sleep is an active process just like wakefulness in fact in certain stages of sleep the metabolism and brain is more compared to awake state let me explain you by this pet image of a brain during different stages of sleep so see this image shows that in certain stages of sleep brain is metabolizing more compared to awake state now in this image the red portion shows us the active process in the brain second misconception is snoring means deep sleep snoring doesn't mean deep sleep snoring means someone is suffering from obstructive sleep apnea or have a upper airway resistance syndrome now the third misconception is that most of us thinks that i can sleep anytime anywhere in a day and that is a good thing but that is not a true if someone is having sleep disorder or poor poor quality of uh, night sleep it will lead to daytime fatigue and sleepiness then the fourth misconception is insomnia is due to psychological issue or a overthinking so insomnia is difficulty in initiating and maintaining sleep in simple words i can say it's difficulty to sleep at night so see the most common cause of insomnia is a physical cause let me explain you this by example so if someone is suffering from obstructive sleep apnea because of this obstructive sleep apnea leading to multiple times throat closures during sleep leads to multiple awakening and because of that person will not be able to sleep comfortably at night this is not because of psychological issue or a overthinking this is a physical cause if we treat the sleep apnea then the insomnia can also be treated let me give you a second example here the patient is having irresistible urge to move legs having leg pain and cramps that is more specific in the late evening and the night time Now this patient can come primarily with the complaint of insomnia. Here the cause of insomnia is not a psychological again as I told you. Here the cause of insomnia is periodic limb movement disorder. If we treat this then insomnia will be treated. So fifth misconception is that sleeping too much means person is lazy. But that is not true. The here the diagnosis can be hypersomnia. Now how many of you feel like this it's easier to remain awake till 6 am rather than to wake up at 6 am sleeping late waking up late here the diagnosis is circadian rhythm disorders mm-hmm. 
So in circadian rhythm disorder, biological clock of a person is disturbed. So let me give you one example, delayed phase syndrome. In this what happens? Because of blue light exposure, melatonin secretion in the evening time gets reduced. And because of that, patient will not get sleep till late night and therefore they, it will be difficult for them to wake up early in the morning. And here we think that person is doing this purposely. Here the cause is circadian rhythm disorder. Okay, so now one more misconception is old age means less sleep. So old age doesn't mean less sleep. Old age means polyphasic sleep. It is the sleep, sleep same as newborn sleep. Here the elderly person takes multiple small naps during daytime. So their sleep quota is already completed. So when their duration of sleep in the night is reduced, they feel that they are getting less sleep. So which is not true.